With week one of college football now in the books, I thought it'd be cool to do a top 25 each and every week because I think I could do better than the AP. And if you didn't know, I actually did a college football top 25 a month ago going into the season. And I, that's where I projected uh, how each team would do in their respected conference. And I projected their win totals all the way up until bowl season. So I'm going to go off those rankings that I did. So if you're wondering where I'm referencing that from, go check out that video. Hopefully I'll leave it somewhere available for y'all, maybe in the iCard. But what's crack lacking? It's your boy Baroshmo, just in case you did not know. So go ahead, become a bro and subscribe and leave that thumbs up if you enjoy the content. As always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's have that nice, beautiful, sensual football discourse but let's go ahead and do the nitty gritty and i want to start with five teams that just missed the top 25 for me starting with byu uh, i'm not sold that this team is any more than a, maybe a seven or eight win team just yet though they did have an impressive uh, impressive out in there against uh what was it usf so yeah i just don't feel comfortable putting them in there just yet honestly tennessee was the closest team to making my top 25 uh this week and i'm sure that they will surely probably be in there eventually uh but um they had a cupcake matchup this week and you know what they did good uh nc state uh, ecu was not supposed to give them problems like this uh i i think better days may be ahead for nc state but i did not i cannot in good faith put them inside my top 25 because they were already a team that just missed it when i prior when i did my rankings prior i couldn't in good faith put them in there with uh when they should have lost ecu like ecu they missed the 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 pat to tie the game up and then they missed the game winning field goal nc state should have won their offense didn't look great devin leary didn't look great and uh defensively i thought they were all right but uh yeah uh maybe better weeks are ahead for them hopefully but yeah the, them and byu were the two teams that were like uh mainly it was teams like tennessee and actually central florida i thought central florida again they had a cupcake matchup as well i think it was south carolina state but Plumley looked amazing and i think south uh, or central florida is gonna just light it up this year and then penn state i have a tough time believing penn state's more than a seven or eight win team uh but you know what they play really good defense they had a good outing against purdue uh, i'm sure against the better uh big 10 teams uh, it might be tougher sailing but we'll see overall i was i was i i liked what i saw now let's go over my the teams that fell out of my previous top 25 starting with iowa iowa i originally had ranked 17th because i didn't think the offense could be this bad this team typically i was a team that already relies heavily on their defense they rely on that defense to win games though the offense typically is a game a game manager type of style but this offense is just god awful if you didn't know they won the, they won against south dakota state but they didn't score a touchdown they won seven to three you might be like that sounds like a touchdown it's two safeties and a field goal yeah, I was wrong. They, they ain't a top 25 team. Uh, Cincinnati, they had the tough loss against Arkansas. I didn't think Ben Bryant looked that good. And I had them ranked prior uh, at 23 anyway. So, yeah, the loss knocks them out. Same with Boise. I actually expected Boise to look a lot better. They were not competitive in that Oregon State game. So, I had them originally ranked at 25. Knocked them out out uh, i still think they're probably uh I, I would say one of the better contenders to win the mountain west now let's go ahead and get into my top 25 starting with 21 through 25 and we're gonna be starting with oregon oregon i originally had ranked 11 and yes it was a very bad loss i you know what like anyone facing bama in georgia i think they're gonna have like, I think any of the Pac-12 teams would have lost. By that much, uh, it could be debatable, but I still think Oregon's a really good team. I still think they are among the best teams in the Pac-12, so I couldn't just justify knocking them out of my top 25. So I said, you know what? Screw it. Let's put them at 25, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I think 
again, be- I think better games are ahead for them. They're going to look much better. Uh, we know Bo Nix. He's a roller coaster. We just happen to be at the bottom, the valley of that roller coaster. Kentucky, they, they're coming off a cupcake matchup. I didn't initially have them in my uh, top 25, so they are a new entry here. And uh, well, Levis looked good. Uh, to be fair, the team felt like it started out a bit slow, but once they got everything rolling, they, uh, they looked great. Uh, Oklahoma State, uh, their offense looks like it's going to be explosive, explosive, explosive. I think they had 51 points going into halftime against Central Michigan. And yes, it's technically a cupcake matchup, but that defense has some serious problems. Like they lost a lot of talent last year to the NFL. Uh, in, like in that secondary uh they lost malcolm rodriguez they're the leader of, um on that defense uh at linebacker uh they lost uh uh was a bernard converse one of their best corners last year uh he was a grad transfer went to lsu so they lost a lot and the defense really looked bad so i only moved them up one spot here to 23 and then i got the pit panthers having uh, probably the game of the night thursday night uh, yeah because was purdue penn state thursday night that may be a friday i'm not positive anyway they had a really good game against west virginia the defense showed up looked good uh i don't know how much they trust keenan slovis because they definitely went in with a very run heavy attack uh and really chose not to necessarily put the ball in the hands of keenan slovis but Overall, I uh, bump. I ended up uh, leaving them here at 22. That's where I originally had them. But uh, I could see this team potentially moving up as long as we get maybe a better, like that freshman USC or yeah USC freshman version of Keenan uh, Slovis. And then Coastal Carolina, they kind of had a tough time against Army. They won 38-28, and I'm pretty sure you know they're going to probably win uh, the Sun Belt. I believe is where they're at so i think they're gonna win that but still uh it wasn't an impressive showing so i kept them here at 21 that's where i initially had them as well let's go to number 20 being notre dame now listen notre dame i originally had them at 19 uh, i didn't expect them to beat ohio state i was pleasantly surprised with how competitive that team played like that team plays hard for that their coach who was their dc last season and this defense is very good honestly it was the offense i was most concerned about and yeah that's still a concern uh, at the quarterback position but uh, i'm not going to drop them out of the top 25 i thought they probably had one of the more impressive losses <laughs> this week and then michigan state i didn't initially include them in my first edition of my top 25 but they're here now by golly and yeah it's an uphill road for them having to uh they're gonna have to out ohio state and michigan you know to win the division to go to the conference championship that's gonna be a tough tough ask but i really think that uh at least initially like what we saw i know it was against western michigan but still like like thorn looked good um is it thorn i want to say it's like a Thrawn? No, that ain't right. That ain't right. My gosh, I'm blinking on his name. Uh, Thome. Tome. I don't know. Correct me in the comment section. It is what it is. But uh, he looked good. The defense looked really good. Like Jacoby uh, Widmont uh, making his debut. The new transfer there looked amazing. So I'm very, I'm excited about this Michigan State squad. Uh, Ber- uh, Berger looked good, but uh, I am still gonna keep w- uh, Wisconsin ahead of them because uh, they play in easily the worst division in the Big Ten, and I think they are gonna shoe ins to win that division easy. So it means they would be going to the conference championship. So that's why I have them here at 18. Originally they were 20. Now Utah was another team I had rated highly at 13, and I dropped them four spots. It was a close loss against. Florida. Now, is Florida Georgia? No. Are they Alabama? No. They're probably one of those more Midland uh, SEC teams. Basically, you know, after your Florida's, your Georgia's, you get the the, the middle pack teams like Tennessee uh, and um, 
and I would say LSU, but LSU looked actually quite bad. Uh, Arkansas, uh, Ole Miss. So I think they're probably in that, uh, like Florida would be regarded in, with those teams. So it's still not a bad loss. It went down to the wire. And uh, it, I mean, it literally came down to just, uh, I don't even want to call it a poor play by Cam Ryzen because his tight end fell down in the end zone. So like he threw expecting his tight end would be there and his tight end got like trying to uh, stop himself slipped and turned into a pick. So a little unfortunate. I think better days are ahead. I still think this is one of the stronger teams in the Pac-12. And then 10 Sis, I'm going to keep them put here yeah they had a cupcake matchup against louisiana Monroe, and uh they looked good for all its purposes i thought ewers looked okay uh they get alabama this week so i was like you know what there's no point in moving them up because i have a feeling i'm gonna be moving them down after that alabama game so they're staying here at 16 on to the top 15 at 15 i have arkansas they move up three spots big win against cincy still bit closer than i would have expected because that cincinnati team lost so much talent but you know kj jefferson is just going to be a monster and just uh, such a tough player to have to game play on four so keep uh, i got them here on the 15 i think one of the, the one, they're one of the better sec teams and then houston i have them staying put at 14 they had a very um fun to watch game with utsa but i kind of expected them to be better than that utsa te uh, team i didn't expect that game to go over time and honestly i kind of felt like the that utsa team played better i kind of thought they should have been the team to win but clayton uh tune tune um ended up getting this team uh to overtime and he won it there uh, i'm gonna keep them here at 14 because again i think they're gonna have a, probably a couple of losses uh but i i actually do have them as my winners in the aac and then the miami hurricanes move up two spots they had a cupcake matchup and they looked good not much to talk about there florida florida was probably my biggest riser this week because i did initially have them ranked in my top 25 and because there were a lot of questions about this squad new head coach um now they get ar-15 as the full-time starter uh they had some transfers here and they hair here and there and they lost uh, a lot of that talent on defense but you know what they, they looked really good i don't think they're going to be competing for uh, the sec championship but i do think they're going to be one of those better teams after georgia and bama and then texas a&m uh they had a cupcake matchup against sam houston state they looked good so they move up uh, one spot for me here at 11. Now let's get to my top 10, starting with Wake Forest. Hey, they had a cupcake matchup and they won without Sam Hartman. Good on y'all. Hope he returns because uh, I think the ACC is going to be pretty competitive, uh, especially with Miami looking real nice. And then you can't sleep on teams like Pittsburgh either. Uh, can't even sleep on Syracuse at this point. Watch out. Uh, Baylor, another team. I think they had Murray State Cupcake Showdown. They crushed them. They're going to be competing for that Big 12 title. Uh, Clemson, they got they were slow out the gates against Georgia Tech, and it was really their special teams and their defense that really uh, that that really won them that game until their offense was able to get hot. Uh, so like, I feel like Clemson's not a top 10 team. But also, I could see them get in nine wins this season and even potentially win in the ACC. So, it'll be something to watch out for. Ole Miss, cupcake matchup. They won. Uh, they looked good. Again, I, I think they're, they're among those teams like AM, uh, Arkansas, uh, Florida, that are like just, uh, they're the best of the rest when we're talking about Bama and Georgia. And then USC looked very dominant against a against rice they had three pick sixes for touchdowns that's freaking wild they're my pick to win the pack 12 so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have them here until until they take that one hard l now going to my top five i have michigan they had a easy road there with colorado state uh so they ran right through them as expected oklahoma did the same to utep 
uh and you know what it, even more they're like new coaching staff uh they brought in a transfer a quarterback they had a ton of uh well they had first off they had guys go to the nfl but on top of that they had a ton of guys transfer out but dylan gabriel looked good so i think they're good they, I, I projected them before the season to win the uh the big 10 so that's why they're here for uh we'll stick with this until until they lose ohio state uh tough win uh don't know the status of jsn got hurt early in that game hopefully he's there. everything's a-okay but yeah there's a team with a lot of talent and i i like uh i don't know like i don't know if michigan could compete with them because i i really think that's the only other team that can touch ohio state in the big 10 and then of course alabama and georgia they were my one and two to start the year and they both looked impressive uh bama ran rough shop on utah state winning like 55 nothing obviously georgia had the more impressive win but again i'm not gonna move i'm not gonna i'm not gonna move one and two i'm just gonna keep them right there uh because i feel like they're both the best teams in college football and for and actually uh my top 10 did not change from my prior uh rankings and uh yeah, it was cool to have uh, see new additions here like uh, Kentucky, Michigan State, and Florida. Uh, and can't wait to see what will happen next week with this, with uh, the impending doom of potentially Texas against Bama. So uh, be there for next week. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What's your top 25 look like? Again, I'm doing this based off my, my uh, preseason projections for each squad, how they'll finish. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's it for the video. Go ahead, do the YouTube thing. And as always, until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.